It does give me a great pleasure to come here uh, before you today uh, to support LD 1850, the Main Jobs, Trade, and Democracy Act. As a mill worker, former state legislator, a congressman, and a lifelong resident of the state of Maine, I've had first-hand experience of the devastation of the so-called free trade agreements on the United States economy. I know what it means to real working people. NAFTA and other ill-conceived trade agreements have been nothing but disastrous for our state, costing the people of Maine over 24,000 high-paying manufacturing jobs in the last eight years. In fact, Maine has lost the greatest percentage of its manufacturing jobs than any other state in the last three years, according to a report from the National Association of Manufacturers. Please make no mistake that my colleagues and I do not oppose all trade agreements, but it must be free and it must be fair. I applaud the Maine Fair Trade uh, Campaign and all the bipartisan supporters of LD 1815. Together, we can oppose unfair trade agreements that hurt Mainers and educate the public about how trade affects each and every one of us. Today, we can take a proactive stance in protecting our jobs and Maine way of life instead of passively accepting what is handed down to us. And together, we can create a prosperity and a better Maine for our children and our grandchildren and generations to come. So I commend the sponsors and co-sponsors of LD 1850. Thank you very much. And if we don't have a voice in these matters, they aren't going to change. So the Maine Fair Trade Campaign has been actively working for the past year to give all Maine citizens and policymakers a real voice in these matters. We've collected 12,500 ballots of people who've checked off and voted in support of this legislation. And this legislation is taking a very concrete step to create a commission of citizens and legislators from all walks of life, from the business community, from the labor community, from the agricultural community, the public health community, to respond to this crisis and come up with concrete policy solutions. It's a concrete step to keep Maine better informed and better positioned to respond to a changing global economy. We need this commission to keep us briefed on these issues and to have a direct voice for the people who are making these decisions. We've come a long way. We've got a lot of work left to do. We have the people to do it. And I think this commission, the Maine Jobs, Trade, and Democracy Commission, is a crucial step in our future. So I'd urge everyone to support this effort.